Hi. In this video I'm going to show you how to uh, import World of Warcraft models uh, into your Unreal Engine 4 project using Autodesk 3D Studio Max. And clearly you cannot use them in commercial products. However, uh, let's say you're trying to pitch a game idea. It will come handy to have a prototype level built or you can use those models as a stand-ins in your game until you replace them with your own assets and so on. So let's start with this. Uh, you need to download a few things and first of all you need a World of Warcraft model viewer. I'm going to provide link for this page and uh, as of now it's not compatible with latest Warlords of Dran release so you're going to need a Miss of Pandaria or earlier I'm going to provide a link for download for Miss of Pandaria so head to bottom of the page and you're looking for last working FBX export which is 0705 make sure that you download that version and uh, after that it is downloaded. If you don't have a Miso Pandaria disk so installed or previous, here is a one short instructional video how to install World of Warcraft Cataclysm. Basically points to this page. You can check, uh, select expansion and uh, client. Uh, download is a torrent download so you're gonna need a uh, torrent uh, client for it and you're going to need the 3d studio max uh, there is a free version for uh, students and uh, teachers uh, if you are not a student or teacher maybe you know somebody who is uh, and that would be the uh, way to get it so once there is uh, you you got those a uh, couple things uh, go and unzip uh, your uh, War Warcraft uh, model viewer and first thing you want to do is go to user settings and delete config in it that is left there by mistake so delete that and uh, start uh, model viewer and it's gonna ask you to load uh, World of Warcraft files so you have to point to the location where is uh, your World of uh, Warcraft uh, folder either downloaded or previous one so click there and it's going to ask you to uh, load some more files just click yes whatever it is and uh, as you can see uh, the left side is uh, populated now there's uh, plenty of different uh, uh, characters and creatures uh, we're going to use Pandaren for our video and uh, we're going to go ahead to Pandaren mail, double click on it and uh, this is the character uh, we have. Uh, you can uh, make some changes to character, skin color, hair color, uh, okay, hairstyle, uh, facial features and so on. You can also do uh, equip uh, uh, some pieces of equipment uh, but don't do that because uh, that's not going to carry into uh, export file and it's just going to mess up uh, basically the texture so just leave it the way it is. Uh, you can preview some of the animations here. Uh, each character has uh, plenty of uh, different uh, animations uh, but we we're gonna use the basic uh, stand animation because uh, that's uh, that's gonna be our idle animation in Unreal Engine 4 
so here to file export model and uncheck initial pose only uncheck that again export model choose FBX and uh, choose folder where you want to export your uh, FBX file uh, I'm gonna go to 3ds max import because we're gonna use uh, that folder to import from 3ds max later on click save and keep this empty because you, we're gonna export all animations which is really handy for our purposes later on click OK and this may take a good uh, few minutes depending on how many animations there is uh, it is uh, exporting and uh, if you go to your uh, folder you're gonna see that the file size is changing so just give it a few minutes and uh, it's gonna finish with it and uh, I'm gonna fast forward uh, through the video to save you some time watching the video and I'm gonna be back when uh, it's done okay export is completed and we can go to 3d studio max and uh, import that uh, fbx file so head to import import and choose uh, fbx file that you just exported now here are the some settings for the fbx import uh, these are working for me I'm pretty sure uh, a lot of others gonna work as well obviously add an update animation uh, I don't have smoothing groups uh, deformations bone creation cameras we don't need cameras we don't need lights uh, units just uh, leave it at automatic as of now and uh, we're gonna go here under animations extra options and choose the animation that, that we want to use and uh, basically we're gonna use stand animation because that's gonna be our idle animation and from this list you can choose actually any animation you want to uh, uh, import into your uh, Unreal Engine 4 project later on but uh, like I said we're gonna use stand click OK and usually it does report some errors but don't be too concerned about it Okay, and uh, here is our model. Now I have to give you a warning. Uh, in some cases, uh, the model is going to be on its side, uh, and don't try to adjust any rotation or anything in 3ds Max. Just leave it the way it is, and we can do that uh, when we import it into uh, our project. So just leave it like that. You can check animation, and uh, there is always a problem with animation. You see that little, like a little kick at the end. So uh, looping is not smooth, and we're gonna fix that. So if you head to your animation, you'll see that everything goes smooth, uh, and then at the end you're gonna see either one or two frames that are clearly messed up it could be even a lot more frames than one or two so we're gonna see that 
our 89 is out of whack. So what we're going to do is go to time configuration here and we're going to choose end time to be 89. And uh, click there, it will change length and whatever. Click OK. And uh, let's see now if the smoothing is uh, fine, if the looping is fine. Uh, OK, I forgot to do one more thing that is important. Uh, go back to your frame 0, click Shift key, and click and drag this to your la last frame and uh, release and it's gonna ask you create key whatever click ok and see how the looping goes now and as you can see the looping is smooth that works fine next thing there is a thing uh, with the 3ds max exports uh, there is a the wrong order of uh, uh, meshes and roots whatever what you need to do is uh, click on uh, skin mesh itself not the bones the mesh you can choose it here this one uh, go to group and click group ok and uh, immediately after you di did that click on explode and now our model is uh, ready for export so we're gonna go with export export and make sure sure here to check save as type Autodesk FBX because it's gonna give you some more options uh, with the exporting so we're gonna export this as uh, Panda FBX save I'll show you some of these uh, 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 options that I have for export. I have smoothing groups unchecked, I have turbo smooth instead, uh, convert the forming dummies to bones, preserve, uh, obviously you want uh, animation, and you want uh, bake animation, deformations, and uh, uh, you need to change FBX file format to version FBX 2013. Make sure to do that, otherwise it's not going to work. So click OK. Uh, you're going to get some errors. It really doesn't matter. Now go to your uh, uh, Unreal Engine project. Uh, choose folder where you want it imported right click and uh, go to uh, go to uh, folder uh, import folder for 3ds max sorry go to export folder and uh, choose your panda Again, uh, here's some uh, uh, mesh uh, settings, import uh, options that I uh, have. Import a skeletal. Uh, we need import animation. Now, you remember I told you that sometimes uh, uh, the character is at the wrong orientation. This time it was right, but uh, you can change character orientation here. For example, uh, roll it 90 degrees if it was on side and so on. Click import all. And uh, this is uh, what we got. And it's compiling shaders. And uh, once is that, uh, that is done, you're going to see uh, your character uh, uh, fully textu textured. You can go ahead and uh, open it. Panda skeleton. Uh, as you can see our hair and uh, beard has uh, carried into the Unreal Engine. 
uh, I think there is a, sometimes a problem with some uh, translucencies. Like if you have uh, some feature that uses translucent uh, texture, you you can uh, fix that later. We can check our animation. As you can see, animation is uh, perfect. It's an uh, idle animation. Uh, I don't think we we need to change anything there. We can go to let's say uh, veteran. And uh, we're going to change uh, Skeletal Mesh into Panda. It did apply uh, all the textures. Now the scale is usually out of whack. Uh, I don't want to play with it during the import. You can just uh, ch change the uh, scale. Oops. Uh, you can change scale right here uh, okay give me a minute just to adjust this character uh, we need to use a uh, hand animation sequence uh, I'm going to rotate him a little bit and that should work fine. Choose play. Oops, I'm sorry I didn't uh, enable my uh, SQL. Click play. And as you see, guys, right there. What's your story? Uh, and uh, that's it uh, for this video. And thank you for watching.